I'm Daryl Hodgkin, Cineplastic and Reconstructive Surgeon and the Director and Founder of Operation Restore Hope. A cleft lip and a cleft palate are congenital deformities which present at birth in children. A cleft lip is where the two sides of the lips fail to meet and so there's actually a hole in the upper lip. Now they can have one hole or two holes, so one can be called a unilateral, one could be called a bilateral, alone or associated with a cleft palate. The cleft palate is actually a hole between the two parts of the roof of the mouth, so that there's a, a large communication between the mouth and the nose. And the biggest problem with the cleft palate, besides feeding, is that the development of speech will be very delayed. So although the obvious thing is the cleft lip deformity, if it's got the associated cleft palate deformity, the problem is, yes, you might repair the lip, but the child, as they grow, will not develop speech. So you must be very aware of the importance of uh, correction of the cleft palate deformity. The, the timing in this, so the timing must be done early, because as a child is developing speech, they're developing techniques for future speech and articulation from very early on. And so you really want to repair this kind of thing within 18 months or two years. With the lip, it's not so important, but it's nice to be able to repair the lip within the first year of life. So ideally, when we're in the Philippines, we like to meet young children, uh, infants, under the year, under one year, so that we can do a complete job for them and have them healed so that when they get the opportunity to go to school when they're four or five, they're essentially uh, as normal as any other kid. Uh, the fact that they might have a scar on their lip or their nose might be a little deformed doesn't really matter uh, because uh, that sort of thing can be secondarily repaired later on. But the, the, the amazing amount of improvement when they're socialising and the fact that their parents are absolutely delighted they have a near normal child um, when they repair their lip and their palate. So there's a the biggest challenge is to find these children very early and the biggest challenge then is to develop the teams that are locally, mainly locally, and supported by us internationally with finances so that these children can have a surgery in the appropriate time.